Earth Babies Towards Virgo and Capricorn Beautiful Queens, Hands of Kings Welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot Subscribers, unsubscribers And cross watchers, welcome, welcome, welcome Welcome guys Welcome, say hello to Skeleton Somebody want another happy full moon, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Thanks to everybody for donations. Thanks to everybody for personal reads. Beautiful queens, handsome kings. Are you smudging? Are you doing your spiritual baths? Capricorn, Scorpio. Oh, I keep on saying Scorpio with y'all. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Y'all working? Are y'all working? Or is it Scorpion? Somebody dating the Scorpion? A new romantic cycle. Hey. And we're in Libra season. A new romantic cycle. Conf what it says, confidence is your key to success. All right. We just got out of Leo season. And what does this say? Adjustments are required. Adjustments. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. A new romantic cycle has begun. Confidence is the key. And there's some adjustments required in the situation. Okay. Get your, your spirit baths. And don't forget your... Um, sage and out. Palo Cento, Florida water. Somebody's moving on somewhere. It says, avoid zombies at all costs. They always get the munchies. I swear I smell to the green. Who's smoking some green? Because I can smell it too. Did somebody go on a journey? Somebody out of town? This is leaving home. Six of cups. Yeah. I mean, six of swords. I'm sorry. Somebody is going on a journey. Somebody's going on a journey. Whether it's to another state. Another city, another country. Somebody is on some movement. Somebody, somebody's house. Somebody leaving their house. Somebody's on the movement. Somebody's on the movement. Now it says avoid zombies at all costs. They always get the munchies. So, and I swear I smell some green. Why? Wow. So somebody smoking some green. Somebody gonna get some munchies. Let's see what y'all got. Yeah, God. Somebody's not using their intuition with the Queen of Cups upside down. Somebody's not using their intuition. They might be dead. That doesn't mean they're peaceful. Check this out. <laughs> Whoever thought they was going to use somebody's kindness for weakness, <laughs> it's not going to be peaceful. It says... They might be dead. That doesn't mean they're peaceful. So, this is not... Somebody, just because somebody's dead out of somebody's life don't mean that they're going to be peaceful. Doesn't mean that somebody's going to be able to go and use somebody's kindness for weakness. No. Just because somebody's dead out of your life, I don't know who this trying to come on this adventure with y'all, but baby. And then they get, we got... Somebody better be the, big, the leader. The king of wands. Somebody better be the leader and see the big picture. It says, prepare in advance. Better opt for cremation. Woo! Somebody better see the big picture of the situation. It says, better opt. Look, this might cause a cremation. It might. Somebody. If somebody's going somewhere towards y'all and you. Some, maybe somebody because you getting a new, a new romantic cycle. One of your exes is gonna come back and try to cause some goddamn problems. I hope they don't, cause it's not gonna. Just because your relationship is dead, don't mean you gonna make it peaceful for their ass. 
They're not going to be able to come back in your life and take your kindness for weakness. This could be family members or friends or employees too. Or, you know, business partners that think they're going to come back. They're not using their intuition. If they think they're going to come back and use your kindness for weakness. The relationship's already dead and it will not be peaceful. Yeah, because you're a leader. You see the big picture of the situation. You and I already cremated that relationship because you knew it wasn't shit to move on. Because it's that your confidence was the key to your success. Did I say subscribers on subscribe cross watchers? Because you know energy. Yeah. Your confidence was the key to success. Look, some of y'all, this was love relationships. That now that you out of those relationships, you're moving on to new romantic cycles. Look, whoever coming. Adjustments is required. They need to adjust. They, whoever thinking they're coming on this travel mission. What's this? What's this? Mm. Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Survival. There is no app for that. Survival. There is no app. So whoever think they're going to come and rain on your celebrations. Ain't no app for this survival mode they're going to need to be in. Yeah, and this person is fucking bitter. Queen of Swords upside down. They are a liar. They're cruel. They're disheartened. What's this say? Keep your eyes peeled. If it stumbles, stay away. <laughs> Y'all keep your eyes peeled on somebody coming stumbling. Now, somebody stumbling could be somebody that's under the influence, that's drinking, or I ain't never seen nobody. Smoking and be stumbling, but maybe both ways. Ooh, yeah, y'all got somebody that wants to take advantage of you. The fool upside down. You can't teach a fool not to be a fool. Y'all got somebody reckless that think they can take advantage of you, being taken advantage, or you let somebody go because they were being taken advantage of you, and you couldn't teach a fool how not to be a motherfucking fool. And you moving on to the new romantic cycles. Yeah. Y'all moving out of one-sided ass relationships, discontented harmony. Now I wonder you're moving on to new romantic cycles. That y'all that ex boo that think it's finna come back to you? Or ex family member, because lovers can be family too, or a contract that didn't whoever this is. They think they finna come. Three cups. And celebrate. Celebration. It's gonna be all bad for them. Cause, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ain't celebrating with them. Three cups upside down. Whoever this person is, you don't want nothing to do with them. Three cups upside down. Even though they want to celebrate with you, you know about this person go gossiping about you. You know about this person's overindulging. Yeah. You don't want to. You, you moved on. And they said the confidence is your, the key to your success. So by you moving on, confidence. Look, the hot. Ooh, -wee, the hard one. This person will be judged for whatever they did. And look at that. This says rescue station. Check this out. Whatever this person did or finna do when I see justice next to it, I hope they be careful. I hope this fool don't do nothing on the full moon that the news people have to be called. But whatever it is, Hartford, somebody of a higher institution is balancing this situation out. They will be judged. There has been. Yeah, they will be judged. They might be in front of a judge with Harfin and the justice for whatever this person did that was one-sided and discontent. Because lovers could also be, you know, a contract. Maybe they did something discontent in that contract that was one-sided. That they're going to have to be in front of a judge in the legal system. Yeah. Brain, heart. They greedy heart. Over, over their mind. That they didn't use their mind to make the right decision. But this higher front of authority is going to be able to make the right decision. Now, higher front can be, it could be a judge. It could be 
a priest, it could be a bank system, somebody of some kind of institution is going to bring balance to a situation. That somebody's greedy heart outweighed them using their goddamn brain. And justice is going to balance this shit back out. Some, this is definitely going to be a, yeah, now, yeah, somebody temperance upside down. Y'all had somebody around y'all again, whether it was a lover, family member, whether it was a business partner, whatever, that was off balance. That was off balance. I'm telling you, look at this. It look. But you see that gaffle? They're going to be judged. Next to the hierophant, y'all, some of this got to do with a legal situation. Again, y'all could have been married to this person and you end up getting a divorce. You're going to end up getting a divorce because this is not a peaceful situation. It says that doesn't mean they're peaceful. Something somebody thought was dead, because it says they might be dead. Something that somebody thought was dead. <laughs> it's not going to end in a peaceful it's not going to end peacefully it's not It's not. so whoever thought they was going to get away with something they're not getting away with it they're not they was unbalanced and look we already know look queen of swords queen of swords this person is cruel this person is deceptive it says keep your eyes peeled if you stumble stay away look and look at this Seven of Wands was under that. Y'all got somebody envious and jealous. Like I said, family, lovers, friends, business partner. Somebody did something that some adjustments are required in the situation. That's going to eat. You've already moved on or you're going to be moving on. But this person is going to be judged. And when I see this, yeah, this is something legal. Damn. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody thought that this situation was going to stay in confusion or they was going to be able to confuse you. Maybe they was confused in their head, but... That's too many, but we'll take this one. Look, defend your beliefs. Y'all going to... Night of, night of motherfucking swords. Y'all finna have to go to war. Or somebody of the legal justice service is gonna go to war to you. For you. Because look, this could be a police officer. That could be a military officer. Private event. FBI. There is somebody that's defending your beliefs. Defending your beliefs. Finna run these motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah, whoever was on some punk ass shit finna have a tower moment. Finna have a tower moment. Y'all got somebody that was finna have a tower moment. If they think they finna bust in your house like a zombie and bust up your party, they finna get busted up. Y'all got somebody finna have a tower moment. Maybe that's why you're gonna have to defend your beliefs and pull out that. If they busting up in your house... Somebody can't handle that you had confidence. Your confidence was your success. But this person, whatever they're trying to do at nighttime, adjustments are going to be required. Some of these people, this is some legal ass shit. Some of these people, they jealous because you got new romantic cycles beginning in your life. Now, whether that romantic cycle is for yourself whether they're romantic cycles for somebody else. Look at all these cards coming out. We're not taking the whole book. Four, four cards? We're not taking... Nice five, actually. Right. Capcom Virgo Taurus. What's going on, Capcom Virgo Taurus? Now I know why some of this shit gonna be on the news. Especially if they can try to bust in your goddamn house. Yeah. Somebody jealous y'all got new new desires. You can create anything you desire. Some people are jealous because you got pa new passion in your life. Ace of Wands. Yeah, now, we already did the Cinderella. Don't put your foot in the shoe that don't fit. Don't be putting your foot in the shoe that don't fit. Take what part of this story is your story. What part ain't. That It is what it is, okay? 
It is what it is. Somebody, y'all got some lovers, ex-lovers that's jealous because you got new passion in your life. You got some family, friends, ex-business partners that thought they was that you whatever you decided to create in your life, and by you keeping confidence, even though they was overindulging, gossiping about you, success. Com your confidence was your success, and you was able to move on. These people thought they was going to be able to move back in your life. Or when they get busted for the shit they're doing, you're going to move to another home, new city, new state, new country. But whoever thought they was going to be able to use your kindness for weakness, whether it's to bust up your party or come back in your life, it's not going to be a peaceful situation. It's not going to be a peaceful situation, especially with the Hierophant and the judge here, the justice here. No, it's not. It's not going to be a peaceful situation. They might end up being so, uh, adjustments are required. It might be so undamn peaceful that it end up on the fucking news because it says rescue station. The police might have to come in there and rescue you from these one-sided ass people. Cause they still look moon upside down. They might. This is a full moon at night. I hope they don't try to come in there and try to do some goddamn shit while you sleep. But these are they was doing already doing shit when you sleep. But they might try to do moon. This is fear, intuition, secrets. It's upside down. Look. These people were emotionally empty and they tried to block your creativity. And I love how this brain is. Somebody thought they was going to be able to block your creativity, but they wasn't. They wasn't able to block your creativity. So now they pissed. Now they pissed. Now they pissed. This says hate, anguish, love, sadness, hunger, fear, satisfaction. These people thought, like again, whether it was an ex-lover, whether it was a family member, thought that their hate and envy was going to block you and have you in anguish and sadness. Or not one love. But it says what? New romantic cycles. Confidence is the key to your success. Look. Yeah, they're going to come tumbling on down. But something's going to catch you. Just like I was able to catch that skeleton before it. There's going to be some police officer or somebody that's going to come in there fast enough to catch their ass and protect you and stop you. Stop you from falling. From these cruel ass people. It says keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, look. Look. These people been, and if this don't look like nobody motherfucker spying on you around the motherfucking corner, page of swords. These motherfuckers been spying on you trying to figure out when's the right time to try to attack. See that blood on this damn axe? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Because they thought they were king of swords. This person was very dishonest. They are a liar. They don't know how to make a hit of a hard decision because they upside down. Now they blood going to hit. Ten men got more heart. This mo who look. This looks like a hunter, a hunter. Whoever this cruel ass person is, been trying to spy on when they can. When would be the best time to hunt you? Like you a goddamn deer or something. You see that? They want to put you on the mantle like these damn horns. Because they're cruel and deceptive. But they're not going to get away. No, this, this, this is getting kind of dark. I know I got this. Yeah. Somebody aggressively trying to stop your transition. Let, 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 let me get a, a Halloween oracle and get the hell up out of here. This is too, this is too dark. It already says better off for cremation. Y'all finna cremate somebody shit. What's this? The witch. The earthly 
weary of the world. A witch. Y'all got a witch on some bullshit. Witch on bullshit. On bullshit. And at the bottom it says vampire. Emotionally intelligent. Y'all got a witch that thinks she is uh, emotionally intelligent to on some shit. The earthly wearies of the world. Y'all got some witch. Y'all got a witch brewing up some shit that she gonna get caught in. She gonna get caught in while she trying to come. While she's whoever he or she, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. They spying. The I spy is looking for the right time to be cruel and deceptive and hunt. I love you, beautiful queens and handsome kings.